target rich, you wouldn't. You could close your eyes and just start slinging lead, and something <laughs> would be bleeding out. There was three bucks down there chasing the two three buys in that one. And I'm like, that's the one that we were looking for all this time. Huge yeah. Now I can get excited. This is my. Look at this, Hannah. Yeah, she's my big guard dog. Makes me miss Merle. I wait to see the rest of the trip. My name is Scott Kuhn, and I'm the owner of Deer Meadows Outfitters in the Sand Hills of Nebraska. With Hannah Barron Outdoors, I watched her on Instagram and YouTube, and I thought, you know, I've, I've got shows hunting with me from the Sportsman's Channel, from the Outdoor Channel, uh, Melissa Bachman, John and Gina Brunson, uh, Nick Munt, you know, those guys do a terrific job for me on television, but uh, the next generation seems to be more geared towards YouTube and that kind of stuff, so I thought I would change gears and give that a try. When, uh, when Hannah and Jeff arrived, um, my first impression was I opened the door and I saw Hannah. And I realized how short she was. And I knew she was short, but in real life, I'm like, wow, really? I guess I had always seen her Instagram and Facebook stuff, and she always looked a little taller, but it's the boots. It's the boots. Yeah, we, we just made it to Deer Meadows Outfitters. We didn't get lost like Jacob did <laughs> on his way here in his little baby car he rented. We go out January, but it's freezing. Uh, white uh, the roads are froze. Snowing. It's snowing. You know, I'm ready to go back to South there. Alabama where it's 70 degrees. But we're going to try to kill us a couple mule deer. Oh, yeah. Jacob's going to try to kill him one too. Really we'll see if he can hit it. And now I'll be the one that is. But I bought me a Nebraska hat at the gas station to try to keep my ears from getting Frostbite, and now we're gonna go try to kill some. Deer piss seriously did spill all over our binocular straps. We're gonna get attacked. Smell that. We've got over 80,000 acres of private ground, so we're spread out a long ways. Um, we'll drive to the area where we know that there's a mature buck and we'll glass that area and look for that buck in the hill range or hill ranges that it's been on all year long and that way, uh, that way it shortens up the hunt and we know exactly where these things are within a reasonable area and that eliminates a lot of wasted time. After we find the animal, that's when we decide how and where to pursue and if they're in a good spot to pursue or not and you know the thing that people don't understand that it might be wide open but yet it's still very spot and stock friendly and you can get in close range on these things. He's got white tails. He said he'd shoot a doe too. I'm looking at the ones on the top. Yep. With the butt facing to us. Yep. You're the one with the spotter. <laughs> you want to look at them? Um, I don't reach that far. Take I'll just trust you. You know what a buck looks like? They're the ones with the sticks on their heads, aren't they? Oh, correct. They said it was going to be a challenge hunting with her. <laughs> I had no idea. The, uh, the buck that we just spotted and got some footage of is a four-year-old, and he's got super good genetics. And uh, those are the kind of genetics and the bucks that we let go until they're six or seven. And that way they cover a lot of does, and we have that really wide 
deep fork in all four forks genetic and that's what we want so that's why we don't shoot them we let those uh, cover the does for us and that's what makes us different yeah and in other words he won't let me shoot the deer so we got to find another because i think he looks good <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay All right, this morning we're on a different piece, looking at some more deer. Uh, it's a little early, so we're watching the sky. Beautiful colors this morning, again. But uh, beautiful day today, supposed to be in the 50s. Great day to be hunting out in the middle of nowhere, in the sand hills, enjoying life. And if I had somebody that wasn't wired at like 5 a.m. in the morning till 9 p.m. at night. <laughs> High energy output. But uh, no, it's good. We're going to have fun today. <laughs> we should not be doing interviews when we this hyper. We got back after it in the afternoon, uh, got up high again with the spotting scopes and the binoculars, uh, looked around and boom, you know, we found the target three by three that we were after earlier that day and he had repositioned about three quarters of a mile from where he was before. And he was also bumping does. So I'm like, let's go again. Let's go get Jacob a deer. Started walking through there and, you know, it was a lot of deer traffic, but I knew we were messing with time uh, on sunset. So we needed to really get in there and be aggressive. Scott left us back here to walk up a few steps in glass. Just so, you know, there ain't three heads for deer to be looking at popping up over the hill. And he's trying to figure out exactly where they're at so we can get set up on them. I knew where I wanted to get because that's where the buck was pushing the doe and I wanted to get to that spot uh, before he got out of the area. I check out the binoculars and range it, and it's about 215 yards. And out of the corner of my eye, down underneath us, about half the distance, was another doe that was coming out. And I looked down, and it was our five-year-old target buck for Hannah. experience with hunting uh, with Hannah uh, was just, I mean, it was fun. It was a learning experience for me too, because anytime you take a new hunter or somebody that hasn't been at your place or hunted that animal a whole lot, it's its fun to see their reaction. Good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't want to tell you until we got up there and I was like, 
Yeah, they were fibbing to me. I thought I was carrying the gun for Jacob this whole time. <laughs> there was three bucks down there chasing the two three buys in that one. And I'm like, that's the one that we were looking for all this time. And he's that's right cool. underneath us. And I'm like, that's oh my cool. gosh. So yeah, I chose not to tell you until we were right there. So you didn't get any buck fever. <laughs> you chill. Man, yeah. Now I can get excited. Good lord. Man, look at his neck. It was a fun week because sharing our experience with new people like Hannah and Jeff and letting them know our way of life out here and how these deer react and, and how they move and come and go different times of the year. It's just, it's a lot of fun. I hope they had a great time too.